For more on the UK and Eurozone economies, I spoke with Jacob Kirkgaard, a senior fellow at the Peterson Institute of International Economics, and I asked him, have the Eurozone defied all the analyst pessimism from earlier this year and what his outlook was for next year? Well, I think fundamentally they under, all underestimated the basic political will that exists in Europe to keep the European project and the Euro together. And that, you know, fundamentally we shouldn't despair uh, over a couple of quarters of bad economic, uh, you know, data. What really matters is whether or not Europe and the symbols of Europe, I, uh, aka, of course, first and foremost, a single currency, uh, stays together. And, and that's what the populations of Europe and their leaders decided. If a year ago we were in the emergency room with Europe and recovery is in place, on a scale of 1 to 10, where are we on that recovery? I'd say we're probably about 3. Uh, it's, it's a timid recovery and it's going to remain in 2014 relatively subdued because while the bleeding has stopped, so to speak, we're going to have another round of bank stress tests. There's still going to be austerity. Unemployment will remain high for uh, 2014. So all of that is going to put a dampener on growth. But it is going to be recovery. It is tangible. And it is, uh, in my opinion, a type of growth that will be much more sustainable than what you saw before the crisis, where it tended to be a lot driven by, you know, house prices uh, and other types of speculation. There was a lot of talk about asset inflation. If you reflate assets, that would help with ultimately the, the consumer spending. We're seeing that in the United Kingdom. There's some expectations that perhaps the holiday season might pick up. But we do see mixed signals across Europe. Let me start with Britain as first. Do we see a realistic recovery that, as you say, is sustainable? Uh, I'm, I'm, on the UK, I'm a little skeptical, quite frankly, because what we're seeing in the UK is clearly that the housing market, uh, by government design, uh, is rising rapidly again. We know that that creates wealth effects and it creates uh, consumer spending, and that's what we're seeing in the economy. What we're not seeing in the UK economy, in my opinion, is a sustained increase in business investments or in exports. In fact, uh, the U.S. trade balance was significantly deteriorated in the third quarter. So unfortunately, I think the, the, reco the recovery that we're seeing in the U.K. is a little bit like, you know, we're sort of back uh, to 2007, 2008 uh, uh, in that case. It's the same drivers of growth, and ultimately, I worry about the long-term sustainability of it. We're beginning to hear um, inklings about raising rates around the world, specifically here in the United States. The ECB, for example, is still talking about potentially cutting rates. I is it odd that they're not in sync anymore? Because there was a time during the crisis that all the central banks were in sync. What's going to happen to the ECB? What should the Bank of England do at this point? I don't think that it's at all strange that they're not in sync because different economies have had different crises. They all, they all fell into the same crisis, quote unquote, at the same time. So they all cut rates at the same time, roughly. But different economies emerged from the crisis at different speeds. And clearly in the euro area, which had the most intractable sort of structural and institutional crisis, it's taken the longest. Uh, uh, so it's not surprising, in my opinion, that the ECB is still thinking about potentially easing further, while clearly both the Fed uh, and the uh, Bank of England will be, at least in the case of the Bank of England, will be thinking about should we bring forward the period uh, or the time at which we raise rates. Very quickly, any surprises you see in the next six to nine months coming out of Europe? No, I think compared to the kind of surprises that we will see in other parts of the world, Europe, for a change, is going to be a relative island of stability and predictability.